Mommy, look, Daddy got you some balloons for Valentine's Day. Oh my word, more gifts from your father? Lucky already came in with chocolates for me, then Spike came in with roses. Now you, with balloons, your father is too much. He says that you deserve it and so much more. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm just finishing up getting ready. Your father's taking me out to dinner tonight. You could put those down over there. Okay. You're so lucky to have someone that does such great things for you, Mommy. I couldn't agree with you more, Diamond. But you do know that I do a lot for your father as well. Oh, what did you get him? I got him a card and wrote him a heartfelt letter. But that's not what I'm talking about, dear. The things I give your father are not tangible. What do you give him then? Well, I give him love, affection, confidence, our family, and so many other things. And he gives that right back to me. Aw, that's so sweet, Mommy. You must love Daddy more than anything. I do love your father a whole lot, but not bigger than the biggest love of all. What could you love more than Dad, Mom? I mean, besides us kids. I do love you kids, but the greatest love of all, he comes first, our Lord and Savior. Really? Even before Dad? Yes, and your father feels the exact same way. We decided that we would put the Lord first in our marriage. Lay down with me and I'll tell you a quick story. I do like a good story. When me and your father got together, we believed in the Lord, but we didn't have the strongest relationship with him. It wasn't until after we had your sister, Lucky, that we realized that it's important to have the Lord as the foundation of our family. With him as our biggest love, we knew our family would flourish. I didn't realize that. So the love for the Lord should be the biggest love, even bigger than romantic love? Absolutely. There's no way that you can appreciate romantic love if you don't have the awesome, overflowing, never-ending love of our God and Jesus. That does make sense now, since you put it like that. I'm glad to hear that you understand. Just focus on building a strong, loving foundation with your Lord first, and leave the romanticism for much, much later down the road. You got it, Mom. Sandra, are you ready? Oh, your dad's ready to go. Let me put on my shoes. Yeah, you don't want to keep him waiting. I can't wait to see what you're wearing. Mom, your dress is beautiful. You look absolutely stunning, my love. Thank you, Diamond. Thank you, my love. Your sister Lucky picked it out for me. I'm ready, my love. Let's get going. I can't wait to have a wonderful night. Agreed. And I may just have some more gifts in store for you. Oh, Tony, you're too much, but thank you. Dabby, my dear, would you mind putting those flowers in water for me, please? You got it, Mommy. Have a good night, guys. Enjoy yourself. And don't stay out too late. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. But feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here?